It's Joshua Bardwell. It is. Wow, I love that guy. <laughs> the know-it-all. <laughs> well, I don't know something. Uh, I don't it... know what you're about to surprise me with today. Yes, I've brought a component to show you that was created by um, Bad Luck FPV. His name's Steve. He's very proud of it. Okay. And he wants to know what you think of it. Specifically. Yeah, so we're just going to throw it on your bench if that's all right. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay, this is uh -huh. a self-contained O3 backpack, right? Yeah. 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 Nice. Yep. Let me give you the other part. Very nice. Here's the other part. Of course, this is uh, a custom-made frame. Oh. It's oh, called... there's more. Yes. Well, that goes oh, on there. Oh, I see? see. I see what we got going on here. It goes on here. Yeah, you connect those. Right. And then there's two uh, screw downs here. And well, then why there. don't they just start a YouTube channel and just have people send them a bunch of drones? <laughs> Well, yes, I tried to tell him that. Yeah, I mean, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so it's called uh, the Clover Cage. I'm not really making it. Yeah. Bardwell is such a dick. <laughs> yeah, I'll edit all that out. <laughs> not really, that's staying in. So uh, it's, it's called the Clover Cage. You Clover can see Cage, okay. Logo right here. And, uh, and is this for the, the, the TXRX and this is the power? Yep. I see, I see, I yeah. got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I feel like um, for the XT30 connector, these wires are... Maybe either bigger wires or a smaller connector. Yeah, it's it's. <laughs> you use what you got. But I know, but I you know. have to t you have to tuck it in there. Yeah, yeah. So we plug her in. Yeah, yeah. And then it fits you right in there. Tuck her in. And then if you wanted to pop that off and use it on another quad. Oh, like a little three inch or something. Yeah, that's pretty slick. Yeah, and yeah. and okay. Move those, oh, there's move more. Move those things out of the way. Okay. He a sent he sent this oh, just for you. Shut up. Okay. This is no, uh, sold sold instantly sold. Yeah. This is I have uh, I have this thing, which is my little rendition of something similar. Oh, okay. Right. And but that as just... you can see, it broke. Right. <laughs> see, it it <laughs> yeah. didn't work out too well. Yeah. This thing's gonna be way more durable. Uh huh. Oh no no no! I love this. I want want one of these on my cars right now. This is set to ELRS. He knows that you have the controller that you can bind this to. Yeah. So the other does, two are crossfire, but this is specifically for you to have fun with. Does he have the uh, the uh, O3 armor? Do you know what yes. I'm talking about? Yes. In fact, I used that. Are you telling the truth right now, or are you just making this up for the video? No. You had a little bit no. of a tone no, when you I, said yes. No, I, I, I bought an O3 armor, Yeah. Okay. and I, I put it on the bottom plate of my quad yeah. at an RC plane event and gotcha. let RC guys fly FPV for the first time. Nice, nice. I want to put one of these on my car because this is way better than this, which conceptually similar, but structurally inferior. Now, does this work? This works, he's got frames too, Yes, right? yes, you can these see. These are his, all his frames. These are his frames. What size frames does he have? That's a good question. Let oh. me get him on the phone. Bad Luck FPV, Joshua Barwell. Joshua, hey. bad, bad Luck FPV, Steve. Hello, Steve. Hey, really good to meet you. Good to meet you, man. That's a pretty cool thing you got here. Oh, I'm glad that you like it. Yeah. Uh, what, have you, what have you guys gotten into with it? We've played with it here on the bench. We got the car bound up, and we're uh, we're gonna take it outside and give it a try. The Clover Cage. The Clover Cage. What motivated you to uh, to to build it? The O3 Air Unit. I gotta be honest. The O3 Air Unit. Uh... Being the price that it is and being the quality yeah. that it is, I thought that ever since I got one, I thought, you know, like, I really wish that I could move this from build to build. And um, I started designing it actually almost a year and a half ago. Um, and then the first cuts didn't happen until like six months ago. It's slick. And a lot of people would have just uh, 3D printed it. But uh, you got some carbon in there and that's really going to improve the durability for sure. Yeah, we had to make it uh, quick swapping. Hard mounting, heavy duty, and highly modular. Yeah, well, I think you succeeded. Thank you. What's the price on this gonna be? Uh, so it depends on the frame, but prices are gonna be competitive with the market. The frame is gonna be in the $70 range. Yeah, I think uh, that's that seems about right. But the clover cage is gonna come with an initial cost, but then of course you can use that clover cage for all of the devices that are ready and compatible. Yeah, right. The only thought, the only thought I have is the the I, I'm actually more excited about the car putting it on a car than a quad. I was joking, I was joking with Ken that you know, as a privileged YouTuber, <laughs> I have a lot of O3s and a lot of quads. So like like my you know my this I probably wouldn't use this in real life, although I, obviously a lot of people will. But 
I have like several cars and I don't have a million cars. And so I want to move my VTX between cars and I want a caddy or, or a, what do you call it? The cage? What do you call it? The clover cage. The clover cage. So I built this yep. and I just janked it together. And as you can see, it broke the first time I rolled the car. <laughs> exactly. This is so much better. Uh, on a better. car, and the, the ability to move it between a car, between a between a quad, etc. Obviously, someone with a million frames, they'll get it if they think that it looks cool enough, if they think that it can serve them enough. Yeah. But um, once I put it on a car, I didn't fly a drone for like yeah, right? like two months. When I put it on my little H sixteen BM, I was at the race course in the backyard next to my house daily driving that yeah. thing around and i was really surprised to find out that it gave me the same rush um right. and the first time i was driving a car fpv and i lost video and i realized i didn't have to freak out because my drone wasn't <laughs> crashing i was like oh this is good so my in my opinion um if you could integrate this with like zero downside then you just have one and like somewhere there's a slot for it and either you have it or you don't but if then, if, if there's like, you have to make it substantially bigger, like maybe then you have a car version and you have a drone version, but obviously they have to be, the mounting has to be compatible. So if you decide to put the car version on the drone, you could do it. Although, you know, I don't, I don't know if I were you, I would probably want the mounting to be compatible so people could go back and forth. Um, yeah, so check it out. The thing comes with an entire ecosystem of customizable 3D prints. Yeah. So if there's anything that's missing, anything that you feel like adding, all of those yeah. will be available to community members if they want to yeah. customize them. I'm going to do oh, my nice, best to nice. keep up with like all of the demands. And as soon as as soon as I finished the thing and yeah. swapped it to a bunch of quads and then swapped it to a car. Yeah, I was like, mm. OK, this is V1. Right. Um, and uh, V2 is going to have to come a little bit more prepared to house those extra yeah. electronics if you plugged it into a quadcopter you would need to disconnect from the armor and plug into the flight controller and so that would get tricky so i don't know if there's a way to go back and forth between a car and a quadcopter without some annoying reshuffling of the wiring but but well, I, i'm really yeah. excited about this putting this on a car that's that excites me more, more than the drone in a way I'm so glad to hear that you uh, that you like the design and that it's something that you want to use. And I'm really excited to see it, you bash it on that car. Yeah. All right. Let's go We're to the bashing. It. We're gonna do it. Very nice. Yes. We got, we got the hole. The for screw the... hole is accessible. Mm -hmm. So I mean, so obvious, but also so often overlooked. <laughs> yes, true. Yes. Plug in here. The power. Oh my god. This thing is fast as hell, and also very bumpy. Yeah. And also, if I hit the gas too hard, it makes a wheelie. It's uh, overpowered. Which, F, you know, line of sight, if you make a wheelie, it's no big deal. Yeah. Ah, it's so bumpy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Did God. You crash? Well, if you hit the gas, it just does a wheelie, and then line of sight, oh, that's, that's yeah. okay, but FPV, you can't see I where got you're you. going. Yeah. Are you okay? Yes. You want to okay. go again? How's the car? Sure. I got to be real gentle on the throttle. Ah, I crashed into your car, Ken. You crashed into my car? Sorry. Can you go out in the road? I mean, I probably. Oh my God. That's like half throttle. Oh no. So, but that's not the selling point. The selling point is, yeah. oh, this thing's bumpy and t t so powerful that it's hard to drive FPV. No problem. I'm going to move it to my other vehicle. In the interest of good YouTube content, uh -huh. we're going to start a timer. Clock's running. I got you, man. Okay. Do this like an F one pit stop. Yeah. Get me the get me the drone. Oh yeah. I need the drone. Okay. But unplug. Unplug the O three. Uh huh. Okay. That's done. Okay. We got. I need a. I need like. Zit, zit, zit. Oh, yeah. We need that. I'll put those sound effects in. We're gonna do it by hand. Zit, zit. It's off. All right, all right. One minute and two seconds to have it off the one vehicle. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We'll just plug here. Oh, it's cold. My hands are kind of numb. <laughs> Guess I'm at a disadvantage. 
Okay, plugged. A little concerned about my accessibility here to these screws and these wires. I'm gonna be careful and it's gonna be fine. Okay. But I do notice that that's a, that's a little bit of a pain point. There is a website associated with this. I'll put it in the description. What's the URL, Ken? It's, um... You don't know, do you? I do. I You're actually, gonna have to do a voiceover. No, I actually do know it. It's tastefulfootstuff.com. <laughs> Don't go there, kids. Don't do that. Boom, it's done. Two minutes and 48 right. seconds. Two minutes and 48 seconds with shenanigans. Wow. To swap. Yeah, done. we waste a few seconds with shenanigans. This is actually more interesting for me because, like, we're going to see how the frame holds up, you know? Am I yeah. clear? You're clear. And how the frame, you know, like, how the weight handles and uh -huh. so forth. So. <laughs> Setting aside Ken's pathetic rates. What are your rates? What's your what's your max rate? Do you know the well, number? There's a four in it, and then I think there's a one, a couple zeros maybe. I don't I don't memorize my rates. <laughs> I just do see a lot of dump. Done. Fair enough. It flies okay. Um, we don't have a GoPro on here, so what one of the things I've found. I don't want to kill your battery. I'm going to land. Yeah. One of the things I've found is that if you're flying the O3. Yeah. The video quality in the DVR is more than good enough for what most people are doing. Hang on, let me land. I agree. And so you don't really need to run a GoPro, which saves you money because now you're case, not destroying a weight. GoPro. Yeah. And you can then tolerate a heavier frame. If this had a GoPro on it, I would probably be complaining about it being too heavy. Right. And not liking how it handled. But minus the 200-ish grams of a GoPro, you can spend that weight on other things and have a pretty good handling. It handles pretty nice. Ready? Oh, oh, okay. Start. Oh my God. Go. Oh. Clock's running, Ken. I know. Okay. Where's I feel like I just bark at you like a drill sergeant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I. I'm gonna need to be making the noises. Wait. I like how the TPU retains the screws so they don't go falling all over the place. Right. So. Okay. We uh, undo the thingy things. Yeah. Unplug Very and over to the. The little one. Three inch. You get all my gray hair in there? <laughs> Close up on the... I don't see anything other than gray hair. Is okay. there like one black one in there? Oh no, I see a black there one. Was, there There's was. one. There's a couple. You still I got a couple. One. Yeah. Slowly, as you get older, uh -huh. you get more gray and less black. That's true. I got some gray yeah, what, When hairs. it first starts happening, they call it distinguished. And then later, they're just like, sir, yeah. sir, the buffet hasn't opened yet. It's only 3.30. <laughs> but I have to finish in time for the wheel. <laughs> Got it. I, don't, I, can't, I couldn't possibly beat Bardwell's time. You're gonna. Really? Yeah, except I'm gonna tackle you before you get the last screw oh, in. Oh no, and, 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 and three, two. Oh shit, hang on. <laughs> yeah. Time, 2.33. You did in fact beat my time. Does that mean I'm better than Joshua Bardwell at quads? The world may never know. <laughs> All right, here we go. We'll the, uh, Clover cage. Does it feel heavy? Hang on, hang on now. <laughs> little, a little. little the three-inch yeah. is more noticeably heavy because the three-inches are usually don't have a GoPro. So, oh, see, I'll get up. Yeah, I'll go get it. It's stuck in the. I won't arm. I'll go get yeah, it. Yeah, so I was saying it's a little heavier. Yeah. And then I topped off the ground because uh, it was a little heavier. <laughs> you still recording? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> still recording. There you go. We're good? Yep. Landing mode on. Landing mode on. We'll just orbit Ken a little bit. Try not to hit him. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely, you definitely feel the, definitely feel the weight. Oh. Okay, Ken. Yeah. I'm down again. <laughs> Don't you have children? Isn't that their job? <laughs> I get it, man. Did I break anything? No, it looks good. That was a durability test. That was on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the three inch is heavier. More noticeably heavy in how it flies. Right. The five inch, I think, is is doesn't feel that bad compared to like a five inch with a GoPro. You know I'm almost sixty, right? Are you? Are you almost sixty? Yeah. Wow. You're doing pretty good for sixty. Thanks, man. How old yeah. are you? Forty nine. Are you really? Yeah. You're about to be in the fifty club. I am. It's so cool. Welcome. Thanks. When's your birthday? January. January what? Well, you, know, you want my social security number next, Ken? No, I want everybody to know when your birthday is so they can send you wishes. Well this wishes. This is 
This is the... <laughs> It's the, the, the clover cage. The clover cage. And the website is... Tastefulfootstuff.com. <laughs> no, the actual website. We'll put it on screen. There it is right there. And uh, if you're looking to be able to swap your O3 uh, between drones uh, or ground vehicles. Or a uh, multitude very, very, very of slick, other VTXs very slick. in the future. Uh, because it's all 3D printed. It's all you know, adaptable and 3D printable. Yeah. We got the cage, but then the actual mounting is 3D printed, so like almost anything could go in the cage. That's true. And you could just uh, swap it around. Yeah. Very slick. And, and the, the frames are very well made and yeah. reasonably priced. Oh, oh it'll be fine. See? Yeah. He doesn't care. Oh, I don't care. Absolute confidence. It's not mine. I'm going to mail it back to the dude. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Ken. Thanks, dude. And thanks to... Uh, Steve. Steve. Bad luck, Thanks FPV. Steve. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I totally appreciate any feedback that you want to give, JB. Can I call you JB? Sure, everybody does. <laughs> everybody does. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Bardwell is what I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and boot a doop. Ah, it smoked! Did it? No, I was messing with you. <laughs> you scared me, man. <laughs> ah, I was just messing with you. <laughs> man, that, uh, how's that backpack holding up for I you? I have there, an Ken? extra one. <laughs> backpack is not. I know. How old is this backpack? It's an RD, RDQ. How old is it, for real, though? Three years, maybe? I feel like I'm just destroying your backpack now. That's Sorry. fine. Go ahead. I feel like it hasn't held up well. Well, you know, I've been in a few bandos. Yeah, that's true. Have you? I have, yes. What were you doing pop, there? Pop, pop, pop. Watching other people fly. Cause I I <laughs> of course I've been in bandos and flown in bandos. I've been, I've been with you in a bando. You did fly. You flew. You teased you flew. me. You oh, teased come me. on, Ken. I know. I can't let you get away with anything. <laughs> people will just give you blind screws that you can't access. I'm looking at you, VW engineers. You know, I had a couple of blind screws in college. Well, you know, help the disabled, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't use that. <laughs> <laughs>